We're underway, bronze medal. Yaneva, Bulgaria on hail of Romania. Again, the gold medal match coming up at this weight. Turkey looking for another individual title, looking for the team title as well, but they need to get a win from their 72 kilo representative to close out this women's freestyle coming down to the final match. Red contact, no finger. Blue contact. Referee will issue the verbal warning and it goes toward on hail of Romania. Next time she will go up on the activity clock. You know, as we wind down the women's competition, Eric, what are going to be some of your top takeaways from this year's championships and how they sorted themselves out? Well, I'd say starting at 50 kilos with Ewan Demirhan getting the monkey off her back and really taking that next step. She's searched so long for a senior level gold medal here at the European Championships. And to get past someone like Miglena Shaleshka just shows that she's ready to take that next step. And then 53 kilos. I mean, to see Emma Malgram step in for so Sofia Mazzon and to follow up her U23 World Championship performance and to win gold on the senior level, that's great for her. And then for Yasmin Adar to win five European titles. You know, she it took her every ranking, or excuse me, every qualification event to punch that ticket to Tokyo. She needed all the way through the semifinals against Maria Kunz of Austria to get to Tokyo and then to win in Tokyo to win that bronze medal and then to take over for the Turkish Women's Wrestling Federation to become the vice president and for her first competition back to have so much on her plate and still to compete at a high level. That shows me that she can multitask like no other. So those are three of my takeaways for women's wrestling. So many to choose from this year. You know, for me, I go back. I, I was really anxious to watch Emma Malmgren and, and if she could take that next step for Sweden, and she did earlier tonight. So that was one that uh, I was really anxious to see how it panned out. And then the other part for me was to see the success Ukraine has had with everything going on, obviously. They have remained focused and in a position to win the two titleists tonight to put them into a position. First period in the books, a one nothing lead. Yeah, and to come back after that opening day of women's competition where they had just such a tough time. And the question starts to get raised is, is there too much going on for them to really put focus on their wrestling? And of course, they, we understand the magnitude of what's going on back in Ukraine, and we don't want to take anything away from it, but to come here and to switch their focus from what's going on back in their country to competing here at the European Championships. And we, we saw them struggle on the first day, but the second day, and Alexandra Homometz comes, makes the finals, and then day three, you have Alina Harushnakobia and Tatiana Risco both win golds. And to see that flag being raised in Europe, it was a beautiful sight, something that I'm sure I'll never forget. Yaneva working hard on this tie up. Not willing to let go of her two on one. Right arm of Von Hale exposed. Question becomes now for Yaneva can she drop down, get into that high C attack off it? Nope, referee will stop it. And they're going to put her on the activity clock. Chance to get the equalizer on the board for On Hale. 
Here comes Geneva right back on it. Opportunity here for Yaneva if she can come around the side, turn the corner. Still no points awarded yet. This is by far the best scoring opportunity of the night for either wrestler. And over the top we go. Two red, they say. Yaneva with a three to one lead. Excellent. Yeah, and I don't know if that was a, if that was Yaneva's move, I'd go the other way. And Romania is gonna challenge it. So they have requested a challenge. Clock stops with the 1.11 to go. So potential two and one opportunity here. And what Yadneva didn't do quick enough was keep that, I believe it's the right foot. If you pay attention to this right foot, so she snaps down, gets behind, or gets near behind. And what she needed to do was keep this ankle off the mat. Yeah, that is all on hell. She comes far knee and hips over, exposing. Challenge decision, first two points blue and after two red, challenge one. Two and two, they go with it. Challenge will be given back. So they will adjust it to the new score. Yeah, two, two. I'm not sure what I was saying, two and one. It had to have been a reversal, but there, there was never a takedown. So two and two, Angel has the advantage, which puts all the pressure on Yulia Yadneva to get her offense going. Red is still winner. So the 2 2 sequence there. Tiebreaker still with Yaneva. Yeah, because they're saying that Angel scored first and then Yaneva scored second. second. So the last, last scoring sequence would be the trumping criteria, which would give Yaneva that criteria advantage. Inside a minute to go, our final bronze medal match of the women's competition, Greco-Roman tomorrow and Sunday as we bring it home from Budapest. This match, as you see, driving in, kind of a half-hearted shot there, overextending was on Hale. She doesn't really have a choice. She can't be picky here. Head caught inside trip attempt there on Hale misses, comes right back at her. One more flurry, and Bulgaria will win bronze. Juliana Yaneva wins the bronze medal for Bulgaria. A silver last year at the European Championships, and now she wins the bronze a year later. 